What is going on everyone, welcome back to GEA Fan TV and we are here today to look over some of the most recent news of course in the GEA in the past week or so. Now obviously we're all still very much um, in this quarantine and lockdown zone and most likely it will be like that for the foreseeable future. But what I thought I would do is obviously just look at some of the recent stories that have come out of the GEA. Obviously there hasn't been that much because obviously we all know that people's health and uh, well-being of course is the main priority right now. But of course there has been some talk in regards to what will happen with uh, the GEA this year, what will happen to both hurling and football national leagues, what will happen with the championship, and of course what will happen with uh, club championship action that could be very much affected later on this year. Of course we've seen the GEA Director General uh, Tom Ryan speaking from his Dublin home as part of the Sport for Business Leadership Series and he kind of outlined a couple of different scenarios that might happen with both Gaelic football and hurling this year. In fact, he even said that the GEA could very much lose 60 million course this year if certain games don't go ahead, if the GEA doesn't go ahead as scheduled. Um, so that, of course, is a huge implication. It obviously shows kind of how much this uh, situation is very much affecting everyone and of course the GEA are going to be widely affected as well. Of course they are a multi-million organisation, I'm sure they will bounce back from this and I'm sure they will be okay but nonetheless this is certainly um, evidence that it is affecting them quite, you know, and I think we all kind of knew that obviously, you know, if no matches go ahead then there's going to be no attendances, no one going to games, etc, etc and obviously it sort of has a knock-on effect from there. Now we certainly did speak on some certain um, scenarios originally there was a discussion of, an, uh, of a made a first start as to when the championship uh, could of course begin of course they were talking first of obviously concluding both national football and hurling leagues but of course that looks obviously very unlikely at the moment as well and um, he says of course there are a few scenarios for what the reminder or for what the remainder of the GEA year might look like if we start on the 1st of June again now you probably have your own view as regards to how likely that is um, and of course he even speaks about the GEA possibly resuming in July and even August um, and he was even speaking about the possibility of playing some of the remainder of the National, National League games in between uh, championship games which, which, which is kind of crazy isn't it I mean you're playing two competitions one in, one in, in, in the months each other that's um that's kind of crazy in itself obviously but of course this is a very uh, bizarre and crazy situation that we are in of course they are you know going through ongoing talks at the moment we don't know of course what's going to happen uh, whatsoever at the moment um, hopefully obviously this situation can die down by like middle of May and June not just for the sake of Gaelic football and hurling but for everything in general I mean there's just literally nothing to do Pat Spillane he actually came out uh, recently over on RT2 FM and he was saying that uh, it is almost certain I presume that the league is going to be discarded they were his exact quote so he believes that the National Football and National Hurling League will be null and void which uh, is obviously quite controversial in itself but given the circumstances I think it makes perfect sense um, it's harsh on a lot of counties you think of the likes of Cork who were you know rolling away with Division 3 you think of a Limerick down in Division 4 uh, this would have been a huge success story for them uh, you know potentially winning the Division 4 championship and coming up to the Division 3 for the first time in a long time and of course they were very much um, the you know leading team in the National hurling league as well they probably would have won that as well of course on the flip side of that you know you have Mead and Mayo who uh, Mead were obviously already relegated Mayo were looking very likely to be relegated from division one as well and now it looks like that's not going to happen of course they'll, they'll have to stay in division one if it is null and void and even looking at Longford in division three they were currently second now whether they would have finished there or not had the season progressed we don't know but they were second at this moment in time in division three um, so it is kind of uh, very unfortunate for a lot of these counties obviously I suppose the only kind of good side of that obviously is that potentially Pat Spillane was going on to say that the second tier championship that was supposed to come in later in the year you can forget about it it's going to be gone we're going to have a straight knockout championship season in both hurling and football 
Um, this will be the first time since 1996 that we've seen this um, in hurling and the first time since 2000 that we've seen this in football if this is what goes ahead. And to be perfectly honest, I feel like this makes the most sense. Um, I feel like you have a straight uh, knockout championship. You have no back door. Now, obviously, that's going to be harsh on some counties. You know, you think of some of the lesser counties like Wicklow, Leitrim, Sligo, Longford, Carlow, these kind of counties. They're only probably going to get one or two games in their season, which is, of course, unfortunate. But obviously, given the circumstance that we're in, unfortunately, that's kind of the only option that we have. That is certainly looking like the most likely option. Obviously, the back door would go as well. There'd be no back door system. It would be straight knockout. It would certainly make for some entertaining matches. You know, you think of the Connacht Championship. You know, we've got Mayo, Roscommon and Galway there. It'd be highly competitive to see, you know, how that turns out. Of course, Galway in Division 1, of course, looks very strong. Looking like potential All-Ireland contenders. Mayo, of course, are always a threat. They've got some phenomenal players, of course, there as well. Roscommon won the Connacht Championship last year. And even if you look at Ulster, you think of how competitive that will be with counties like Donegal, uh, Tyrone. You've got Armagh, Monaghan, Cavan. You know, some really uh, top counties there. So that would be very exciting, of course, as well. And even Munster, Kerry and Cork. Cork looking very bright at the moment. So, yeah, I mean, it would make things exciting again and having straight knockout football. And it would be interesting to see how they go about it. Obviously, there'd probably be no Super 8s. It'd be a straight knockout. All right, so, all are in quarterfinals uh, and semifinals. I think how I would do it personally is I'd have the losers of the quarterfinal or the losers of the provincial championships play different winners from the provincial championships just so we you can still get a second game for some of the losers of the provincial championships and just so you can have another game in the championship of course we're all going off if this is possible personally i'm not sure when this is going to happen to be perfectly honest it could be june it could be july it's very hard to, to know to be perfectly honest how, how it's all going to pan out hopefully you know we we return to action sooner rather than later and hopefully everything does you know relatively go back to normal but of course it is very hard to know at this point of course lads let me know down in the comments below um you know when do you guys think the championship will resume what do you guys think uh, do you agree agree with uh pat's bland point of view here where he says that we have to disabandon the uh, i mean we're gonna we're gonna disabandon the tier two championship the super eights the old format for this year if we want a championship we're gonna have to get rid of it for this year go with the old school format once off for one year at least we'll get a championship we'll get our provincial championships obviously the national leagues and hurling leagues again it's not ideal to null and void them you want to try and play them but i'm just not too sure where we're going to fit in those games at this current point and um, obviously for various club championships of course later in the winter um, obviously they're going to be widely affected as well and that's why i think it's very important that we do uh, get the All Ireland Championship at least finished by September so we can sort of continue along that schedule. But of course, we will obviously have to see how this plays out. But anyway, lads, this is going to be the end of the video. Do hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments below, of course, what, um, you know, how you think these, this is going to play out. Obviously, of course, we were saying before, the uh, GEA director, uh, Tom Ryan, of course, saying that, you know, we could potentially play National League games in between some of the championship games, which is, um, I, I, don't, I don't see how that would work personally. Let me know what you guys thought of that. And uh, yeah, lads, of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll chat to you all soon.